Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. There is no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There is no second best. Okay. But take all your money, buy Bitcoin, then take all your time, figure out how to borrow more money to buy more Bitcoin, then take all your time and figure out what you can sell to buy Bitcoin. And if you absolutely love the thing that you're that you don't want to sell it, go mortgage your house and buy Bitcoin with it. And if you've got a business that you love because your family works for the business that's in your family for 37 years and you can't bear to sell it, mortgage it, finance it and convert the proceeds into the hardest money on earth, which is Bitcoin. GMGM, welcome back to the channel. We are doing consecutive days of videos here. And why do we have decimated up on CoinGecko here? You may ask, well, this was pretty funny. First thing this morning, I did go over to the search bar and decimated was there, which has been a very bad omen for today's price action with, of course, the charts looking pretty shit over the last 24 hours with a sell-off prior to the ETF. So people keep selling their coins prior to the approval coming in the next 24 to 48 slash 72 hours, depending on your time zone. So BTC has not moved outside of pretty much a 200, 300 buck range here over the last few days, comfortably above this TWAP here, the green line, as you can see on the chart, you can get this added to your trading view pretty simply by typing in TWAP and it is the one by Infernix there. So what we can see is that the altcoins have bled here with a nice pullback as a Bitcoin steals some limelight, but Bitcoin hasn't really ticked up either. So people are mainly moving into USD. I would imagine almost unanimously suggesting that this is going to be a sell the news event, but I do think that will not be the case, but happy to be wrong on this. So if we just look at some of the digital asset flows here from CoinShares, you can see a very bullish end to the year of 2023. So this is pretty much the full year's data. This was their kind of end of year finale piece to end of 2023. And as you can see, the last 12 weeks are from here onwards. And that shows you a load of inflows into digital assets. But some of the headlines are interesting here as 2.25 billion was the total inflows for the year. Third largest year going back to 2017, we saw 2.7x the inflows seen in 2022. That won't come as any surprise seeing as 2022 was down only. 2023 has been drifting on up nicely and Bitcoin is showing us the ropes, but Bitcoin was by a wide margin the greatest benefactor this year, representing 87% of all of the flows you can see on screen there, which is pretty cool to see. It obviously shows that there has been positioning into the ETF by people who understand the magnitude of such a thing. Of course, when BlackRock put their flag in the sand for BTC saying we're coming with a spot ETF, people obviously took note, as you can see the last quarter there, bullish, bullish, bullish. But why do I disagree that it's gonna be a sell the news event? Well, we have this. So this is from Van Eck. They, of course, will know a thing or two about the potential flow, seeing as they will have their own ETF potentially approved here in the next few days. They estimate the Bitcoin spot market will generate 310 mil of inflows in the first few days. So from the first few days, maybe at the end of this week, we could see 310 mil. That would be one of the biggest candles on these weeklies here. This would rival this week here and this one here in just those first few days, if their estimates are correct. They suggest then total ETF flows over the first quarter, 750 million. So we would have another quarter similar to the final quarter of 2023 there if that does occur and they suggest over a two-year period 40 bill could actually pour in via the etfs which is tremendous so of course if you look at the annual report here 2.25 billion of total flows into all digital assets yes as we saw 87 percent made up in bitcoin so accounted for most of this chart on screen but 2.25 was the total for last year and last year was pretty bullish let's be honest so imagine 40 billion, if these estimates are correct, what that could do to the crypto markets here. So I did tweet out earlier something like, you should be watching Netflix, there's a pretty good film out called The Society in the Snow, I believe. Go give that a watch rather than selling your bags now prior to the ETF being actually confirmed and before the markets increase by a 10x due to all the suits coming in with a big money. That is what's gonna happen here. 
and I think this is going to be very interesting to see. They also suggest 30k would be the lowest price they could see potentially Bitcoin going down to if we have a sell off. That kind of doesn't really corroborate with these flows if they're correct on screen here. Vanek did predict in 2024 if Trump wins the election we will hit an all-time high on November the 9th so if he wins we would see an all-time high on that date for BTC breaking 69k so that is what the suits coming to the market believe will happen now let's look at total three and the alts so we have three lines in the sand here line one around 450 billion dollars for total three quick reminder total three is the total crypto market cap less Bitcoin and less ETH, pretty much the shitcoin index or the altcoin index. And as you can see, we had a retrace back to this line over the previous week. So this is when the big liquidation event occurred and all the open interest got wiped. And then just last night here, we wicked down again to 450 and we rebounded up to 465 subsequent to this major sell-off on the Sunday evening. So the next major lines in the sand, if this is to be the next kind of higher high in this one, two, three, maybe four there, maybe the fifth higher high that we've posted so far, this could be a major point on the chart here where we come down, revisit this previous resistance, as you can see, flip it as a support and move on to the next major area of resistance, somewhere around 580 to $600 billion in this kind of cluster here and then target three all the way to the top here. You can see some confluence around 825 bill. And then eventually at some point, maybe in 2024 or early 2025, we can look at breaking out all time highs for the altcoins, which previously we did hit 1.136 trillion dollars, which is a long ways away. And that would be, you know, the kind of time you wanna be really considering selling off the majority of your portfolio because you'll be up crazy crazy digits if you've been here and DCAing through a bear market. Chris Berniski here with an update. He is pretty chill guy but if there is panic in the streets he usually comes out and says something and he said today would be a gift for the committed if there's a market panic and things swing bearish for a bit sometime in Q1 of 2024. So could we be in the midst of that? Imagine the spot ETF does get declined. We will see things on fire sale for sure. As you can see, people already getting the jitters, hence the sell off last night. And so if that does happen, that will be an absolute layup. Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved at some point for sure. And we, of course, we can always rely on the Bitcoin halving coming approximately in April of this year. Issuance down from 900 Bitcoins per day to 450 Bitcoins per day. And so the game theory will commence once that happens. And this was pretty funny this morning. Solana meme coins see an 8% price drop after a December frenzy. And within this, they're talking about Bonk here. The Solana ecosystem boomed in December as Bonk tokens started a multi-week run over a thousand percent getting listings on Binance and Coinbase. But they use the dog with a hat picture, which I absolutely love. And it shows you how ingrained this is into the crypto kind of law right now. Dog with hat, you cannot get away from the damn thing. And you smile every time you see the pup fitted with the knitted. So potential first movers from this dump fest. So spot ETF approval comes through. Bitcoin probably goes up even more in its dominance. What is closely correlated to Bitcoin? Of course, the BRC20 movement. So Andrew Kang posted this. No potential ETF approval over the weekend to punish the bears. Alts draining to Bitcoin and dollars would not be surprising. That is what we've seen here. Mainly, I would suggest two dollars, but he then posts down here. Nice weekend flush. He's long Bitcoin and Audi into the approval. Seen a few bits of confluence from some big traders suggesting that ordinals, the BRC20 kind of stuff, will be the first to pump and mark a bottom. These things were selling off quite badly over the previous week. As you can see, Audi down from the highs of around 87, 89 bucks, 25% off the highs here, down to $66. Mubi took an absolute pasting here, down from the highs, of course. You're never gonna sell these wick highs, but you could comfortably have sold somewhere in the region of like 28, 29 cents potentially. It was up there a few times, down to around 13 and a half, 14 cents today. So at least a 50% haircut from where would be reasonable to have sold. 
But still, 50% hacker on an altcoin in a bull market is something you're just going to have to get used to. And if you want to get the huge, huge gains, you've got to sit on your hands and just allow the market to do its thing. We're going to take some huge drawdowns, but you have to take the dumps in order to receive the pumps. Also, this one on the radar here. Also fitting in with the BRC20 narrative over on Fjord Foundry. This is previously Copper Launch. It's an LBP, a fair launch, as you can see. The token ticker is XD, which is the kind of crying laughing face emoji. So they've gone for a bit of memetics in there, but it is from Frax and it's called Lynx. They're going to be bringing out four core products, XBTC, a Bitcoin backed stable coin, Omnichain Bitcoin swaps, permissionless BAMM gauge, and a Bitcoin backed CDP as well. So Frax Finance, of course, big players in DeFi. So this is something to definitely have on the radar. The sale here is ongoing for another day and eight hours from filming here. So you have at least a day from watching this if you want to get involved. If you are a subscriber, make sure to turn on notification bells and all that good stuff because like, for example, this, if you want to FOMO into this and you watch the video three days later, the opportunity has gone. As we can see, 44% of all tokens have been sold thus far. The LBP market cap is around 9 mil, roughly a third of tokens being sold. So this is going to launch somewhere in the region of a $33 million market cap if it maintains the current price. So interesting to see big players moving into BRC20 to go alongside the likes of Mubi and Audi, which is the current market leader. So that XD over on Fjord Foundry, check it out. Now, final laugh of the day here, how down bad are you right now? Is your portfolio down 20%, 30%, maybe a little bit more? Well, this guy here, headline, Newport, can AI help find my lost 227 million Bitcoin fortune? This is Mr. Howells from South Wales, and he lost his hard drive or chucked it out back in 2013, and he says that it had 8,000 Bitcoins stuck on said hard drive at the time he binned it it was worth four million dollars now it's worth 227 million dollars but the council newport council have refused his request to excavate the tip site so this guy potentially has a quarter of a billion dollars stuck in a landfill in newport south wales and he can't do jack shit about it so however bad your day is going think about this guy here so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did smash a like on today's video, we're roughly at 43,850, no major change in BTC, expecting the ETF to be approved within the next 24 to 72 hours, probably on Wednesday, the 10th of Jan. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Peace.